With this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use PollEverywhere.com. PollEverywhere.com allows you to create your own account through the sign up feature where it keeps track of all the polls that you make. You just log in each time you visit the site. Another option is you can create a poll without ever signing up. This would be for like one time use. Whenever you create your first poll, type in the question you want to use. And then you can choose if you want your audience to respond with their own answer or from multiple choice. Whenever it's multiple choice, you can give choices. Or you can insert pictures. To insert a picture you already have on file, choose the camera and then tell it where the picture is. It will insert the picture for you. If you want to use a picture that's already online, find the picture you want to use, right click on the picture, choose copy image URL, and insert that link. That will put the image in for you. Now you have a poll. You can choose to add more answers. You can delete them from the side if you don't need them. And when you're ready, you can choose create. Once the poll is created, your audience will have the opportunity to respond to the poll. Notice that it says text a code and it gives a number. That's the telephone number that the audience will use. They will text their code to that telephone number, 22333. The code that they're going to use is the code of the picture that they believe is the person who invented flight. As an example, I will send in a quick text message while looking at the poll. The telephone number is 22333. This will change depending on when you make your poll. I'm going to choose option 2 just for fun. 8059366. Hit send. And responses show up automatically. This is one of the things students like the most. When you have another class getting ready to come in, you can choose clear results. And this way the new class that comes in can have their own voting. You are limited to 40 responses in the free version. You can change the settings of your poll to make it look a little different as far as color and background. And if you want to make another poll, just choose create poll. And this time, let's make an open-ended question. Leave it open-ended so the audience responds with their own answer. And it creates your poll for you. It's a little different when it's an open-ended question. You're still going to text to the same telephone number, 22333. But in order for your audience to give their response, they must use the number 805953 first, putting a space after it, and then they can type whatever they want to. So going back to my text message, I'm sending it to 22333. The very first thing I do is put in the number 805953, a space, and then I type my response. I hit send, and as responses come in, they show up on the screen. There is no way to track what telephone number it comes from in the free version. I encourage my students to put their name on their answer or they will not receive credit. Students can also respond, besides texting, through a computer. If you'd like to turn that option off, it's under your How People Can Respond option. there it changes. Again, you can change the settings. You can make it full screen. 
and you can navigate between the polls that you have made by choosing previous poll or next poll. Remember, in the free version, your polls are not kept unless you choose to sign up and create your own account. That is how you use PollEverywhere.com. If you need more additional help, please ask.